what is the matrix of velocity gradients? That's a little bit harder to visualize than Jacobian. You know, Jacobian is, we start with a ball of initial conditions. And in linear approximation, what Jacobian does is it sort of rotates and stretches this ball into a, an ellipsoid. And uh, the eigenvectors of the Jacobian, which are not normal, not orthogonal, they are really what they describe is not really the ellipsoid. That's not the right description. However, <coughs> what is the stability matrix or matrix of velocity gradients? That's easiest to visualize in some spatial temporal context. I find it easier to think about it in partial differential equations than in ordinary differential equations. So suppose you have some structure in a fluid or in some extended system. What does time evolution do to the structure? Uh, what it will do is, in linear approximation, if you have something that, you know, looks like some bunch of bumps, uh, what linear approximation will do is it'll subtract something from the behind the structure and the structure advances and it'll add it linearly to the front of the structure. So the matrix of velocity gradients will show you how the whole shape changes infinitesimally. So there will be you know, a positive part where you are moving to and there will be a negative part where you are subtracting some probability. So I think that's easier to understand. You know, it's a shear matrix. It has two indices. You can draw vectors. It just tells you that in this particular direction you get so much in some other direction in higher dimensional space. But you can picture it as some shape in a plane which is being moved around. And the Jacobian is built from infinitesimal increments like that. So you have instantaneous shear where you take something in the back, you move it up in the front, and in the next step you repeat this. So this is time ordered. Uh, these matrices of velocity gradients don't commute. And the integral over this whole thing is the Jacobian, which is something very different than uh, matrix of velocity gradients. Matrix of velocity gradients is instantaneous and its dimension is 1 over time, because you're integrating it in time. Jacobian is the ratio of the lengths at the end and in the beginning, divided by the beginning. So this is a pure number. It's a matrix of dimensionless numbers. And for that reason, it has a chance to be something that's an invariant characterization of the flow.